I wonder if we can hit everything with this rocket. Let's try. Oh my gosh. <laughs> did you think we can hit everything with that? We definitely did. Let's support this with the Dark Goblin, and he's cooked, right? Like, on, on one one side or the other, he's, he's got to be cooked, surely. Eee, what's up, gamers? It's Durky here, and if you're sick and tired of playing against Evolved P.E.K.K.A., you're in the right place. I got two words for you. Inferno Tower, Inferno Tower, Inferno Tower. But genuinely, yes, I think that this deck right here is one of, if not the, best counters for Evolved P.E.K.K.A. in the game. The main cards that I want to point out are the Inferno Tower, the Ice Spirit, the Guards, and the Dark Goblin. In this meta where Pekka's running rampant, you can't have the Tesla, you can't have Goblins, you can't have Goblin Gang, you can't have Skeletons because all of those things heal up the Pekka. So this is your best chance to take a stand against all of those boosted Pekka users. So come along for the ride and I promise we'll get lots of dubs against lots of Pekka players. All right, in our first match here against Tino and once again, we're gonna be rocking this new overlay. Um, you know, I think this is one of the best overlays I've ever seen. Like I said, shout outs to Surge, Surgical Goblin, the GOAT. Good news is, in this meta, not a lot of people are running Log. Yep, as you can see right there, Dark Goblin absolutely going to work. I think you need Dark Goblin in this meta more so. Um, oh wow, he has it too. I was going to say more so than, um, like, Princess or something, because you need as much DPS as possible for that P.E.K.K.A., so that's why we have the Dark Goblin instead of the Princess, and the same reason we have Guards instead of Skeletons. Fortunately for us, we find ourselves not going against a P.E.K.K.A. user and instead going against this guy. Um, not my best Inferno Tower placement, but those archers get down a little too late, so it doesn't really matter. He gets like a small luck. I wasn't really expecting to be going up against Expo, to be completely honest. I haven't played this matchup in a minute, but it's all good. We actually, you know, we came out on top in hindsight. I could have logged there. It would have been fine. Let's do this. Um, he should have log and cycle. Actually, he's running Zap. Yeah, yeah, okay. So he only has delivery there. I don't know what his big spell is yet but anyways this is a really weird matchup i was expecting to play Pekka. i haven't played expo in a minute nonetheless i'm not gonna i'm not gonna worry about it too much let's get these guards down here we get them down a little late so that's really unfortunate for us but it is what it is i'm not worried about taking down an expo user i'm gonna go dark goblin high and i'm gonna ice spirit to try and predict the archers okay so arrows do come down um that's fine with me honestly we're gonna have the double barrel here soon i think i'm just gonna cycle a log I can always just play Rocket on the Expo, and the double barrel will be super punishing for him. <clears throat> so let's keep that in mind. Okay. We're going to go absolutely crazy here. Let's go bang, bang. And whatever side he defends, we're going to get damage on the other one, so it doesn't really matter. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm just going to let that go. He got incredible damage on the right side, and then we can just Rocket his Expo. So it's really not a big deal at all. We're going to go ahead and drop the Gar Dark Goblin and bait out the arrows. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Look at this Rocket value. And now this is pretty much GG's already, because with that one Evo Barrel, it kind of put us in a position where we can win this game. We shouldn't really lose from this position with this much of an advantage, unless he's the world's best Expo player. But I doubt that that's the case. We can pretty much always log the Dark Goblin. We don't really need it for anything else. I can cycle this knight. Um, he doesn't have expo in cycle, so we don't really have to worry about that. His spells are arrow delivery too, so playing arrows on a knight isn't really a good move. Oh, he has delivery arrows fireball. That wasn't really worth it. He fireballed my knight, and then I ended up getting damage on the tower. So this guy's just playing weird, to be completely honest. We're going to do this, and we're back to another knight here. We're going to go ahead and make sure we get it down in time. Guards just in case. I don't want to risk this. You know, like I said, from this position, I really shouldn't be losing this. Let's go like this. We're going to go Ice Spirit as well, because even if he gets the delivery down, the Ice Spirit is threatening the tower. He didn't have a great hand for that, so it's all good. And like I said, <laughs> when you play against Expo users, uh, a lot of the time they take up the entire clock, so we're going to make sure that we see this game through. Like I said, I promised you a P.E.K.K.A. matchup, but unfortunately we don't get it. My man mistimed the arrows because he was too busy BMing, so let's just do this. We're going to go Goblin Barrel. We're gonna have log ready as well. Delivery is gonna come down, but not in time. Oh, we did get it down in time. <sighs> My man's just delaying the inevitable, but I respect it. Let's go Dark Goblin like this. We're gonna go bang, bang, rocket here. Rinse and repeat. From the matchup side of things, we actually have a really good matchup. Let's do this. He can get the delivery down in time. Let's see if he does. He does, and he has to zap, so it's fine. <laughs> We're almost inside of Rocket Log range, plus he gave us good uh, log value there. So at level 14, Rocket does 492, so good game. Honestly, pretty easy match, uh, I'm not going to lie. No P.E.K.K.A. yet, but we'll hold that W. We'll see you in the next match. All right, into our next match here against this person. Don't know what uh, they're running or what their name says, but they are running Dagger Duchess. 
which is really bad against Pekka. I'm like pretty floored whenever I see people running Dagger Duchess, to be honest, just because it's like not very good in the meta or like ever. It's just weird to see. Okay, Pekka comes down right away. My man wastes no time. He saw me play a log and he's like, I'm going to Pekka up. That is the current state of Clash Royale. I'm not even joking. It's like, that's all that it takes. That's all people need to see in order to play Pekka. So we're going to get a lot of value again uh, with our Inferno Tower here. We're going to go Dark Goblin here. DPS all of this down. This is a really good rocket, actually. Yeah, we hit a lot of things there, so that's great. We're going to go pull the P.E.K.K.A. back here. Easy peasy. So good to know that they have Firecracker um, and the Battle Ram. Makes sense. Those are two of like, well, Firecracker is weird, but Battle Ram super common with the P.E.K.K.A. Alrighty, alrighty. We're just going to take a deep breath here. And in general, when you play with this deck or you play with bait style of decks, you want to be going opposite lane. So because you already got a little bit of damage into that lane, I'm going to push into this lane. Nice. Even with the zap, no. He still got a shot. That's unfortunate. Put a cycle a log here. Get ready to set up a defense. Okay. We're going to cycle a knight like this in the back. Mainly to get to my evolved one. I don't really mind cycling the knight. Like, it's not as key of a card as the defense as some of the other support cards. Okay. We're going to drop this Inferno Tower. Unfortunately, that knight is going to help heal at the P.E.K.K.A., but it's only one unit, so it's really not that big of a deal, to be completely honest. Might end up rocketing here if he drops the Battle Ram. Um, we'll see. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. This is a good rocket all day, every day. Beautiful. It's at, like, everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and do this. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Like, even though that peck is healing up, we're here, we're chilling. Dark Alvin is going to do a great job as well. He doesn't really have anything he can play on the Dark Alvin, so we're just going to go like that. We're going to go with the barrel in front. I feel like he's going to drop evil skeletons or something like that. Yeah, arrows. Okay. Good to know. I think that was the first time we've seen the arrow, so we <coughs> got to keep that in mind because you can kind of use those to snipe the Dark Goblin. We're going to go Knight opposite lane. Yeah, I didn't want to play it into the same lane as the P.E.K.K.A., so let's go Inferno Tower here. We have our Rocket ready if he goes for, like, the Evo Battle Ram behind it, but if not, we're just going to let the Knight do its thing on the opposite lane. I think it's worth rocketing um, all of that over there. Like, all of this, I think, is wor a worthwhile rocket, to be completely honest. He just used his arrows, so guards are going to do a great job on defense. Shoutouts to the guards. Okay. You can just go for an Ice Spirit here. No, no panic whatsoever on our end. Let's go like this, actually. Because he used that Zap, he might have a hard time defending both lanes. That's what this deck does really well, taking advantage of your opponent when they have nothing in cycle. So he completely overcommitted with that P.E.K.K.A. He doesn't have Elixir to defend that side. So GG's taking down our first P.E.K.K.A. player of the video. That is the point of this deck. We'll hold that W. We'll see you in the next match. All right, in our next match here against Ghostly818. I am so scared of this meta. The, the P.E.K.K.A. is already making it, like, borderline unbearable. I can't even imagine what it's going to be like when the other cards drop. All right, so he went Lava Hound. My sound stopped, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can fix my sound real fast. Um, sometimes the sound just goes out, so you're going to have to imagine what happened. I just spent a lot of Elixir. He dropped a Lava Hound, so let's see if this fixes the sound. Okay, we do have sound back. Let's immediately go Inferno Tower here. He could play something on the Dark Goblin. He probably will, honestly. No, he doesn't. Okay. So while we were trying to catch ourselves a P.E.K.K.A. player, we caught ourselves an, uh, a Lava Hound player instead. He also just used arrows, so let's go in with Barrel. <laughs> so that that's... Sorry, the start of the game was super weird. I know it was kind of hard to explain, but... Um, I use a screen mirroring software, and it, sometimes it just cuts out and you lose sound. So anyways... Start of the game, not great. Um, you hate going against Lava Hound. Lava Hound, one of the most annoying decks to play against. Let's be honest, no one likes playing against Lava Hound, but <clears throat> they'll give you, they'll make dumb plays like that and give you great rocket value. So, shout outs to Lava Hound players. Inferno Tower, really, really good. Dark Goblin, really good. I feel like we couldn't have asked for better support cards. We're just gonna chill. Um, as long as we protect our Inferno Tower, cycle our Dark, Dark Goblin, we're gonna be a okay. So, we saw Bomber as one of the ground cards and. Trying to think of what the other ground cards we saw were, but nonetheless, we'll go ahead and do this. Hopefully, even if he doesn't play anything, this is going to get good damage. We'll probably just let it go, though. No, nah, he doesn't. Okay. We're going to go Dark Goblin early. You want to force them to play something on the Dark Goblin. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That knight goes in front. That's fine. Because now we can go like this. Always, always make them play a spell on your Dark Goblin. Okay, so here's the thing. We're going to go like this. And uh, he's cooked on both lanes. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, look at the right side as well. The right side, just done. 
We can just rocket the balloon as well. So that was a really weird play. Like, I don't know. It was just bad. Yeah, see, I don't even need to. I don't even think I need to play anything on that balloon. I will just rocket it to be safe. And uh, yeah, fishing for a lava, fishing for a P.E.K.K.A. player. We found ourselves uh, a Lava Hound player. Pretty obvious play. That's why I waited to play the Knight. We're going to go like this and get the King Tower activated. Oops. We failed, but it's not a big deal. Yeah. Kind of like a last ditch effort there, to be honest. You could kind of feel it. And all he, can, all he seems to know how to do is just give me rocket value. So we're just going to continue to take rocket value and not even flinch. I don't know. <laughs> That's why some people like say that lava hound is like no skills because guys like this give it a bad rap like they just like spam large pushes in a single lane and like think that something's gonna happen so anyways we're gonna give him the good game um you know no bm necessary and that was a very good matchup for us so we're gonna hold the w we'll see you in the next match all right in our next match here against bunny ip bunny -ip. probably bunny -ip is probably how you'd say it um so far we've gotten a good variety of matchups. I'm interested to see what we go up against. Just going to cycle my log here. And like I said, if you've never played log bait, there's always a good time to learn. Let's go Dark Goblin here and Ice Spear. This should full counter, I think. Um, maybe he gets like one little shot, but not a charge on the tower. We're going to go like this. Um, Barrel's going to tank for the Dark Goblin. Usually they run like Bar Barrel or Zap or something like that. Yeah, there's the Zap. <laughs> okay. This My guess is this is Pekka Ram Rider. Uh, pretty common deck, honestly. Hopefully we can force out the Pekka so we can get an easy defense you'll probably play against this deck like a million times i'm just gonna log here to cycle and to maybe help the knight get a little more damage okay goes for the fisherman kind of feels like he didn't need to do that but that's okay okay dark goblin's gonna help and then ice spirit to make sure we don't take any additional damage barrel here i think they usually only run zap so this should be like annoying for him to defend yeah it is and we want to save our inferno tower for the pekka so we're gonna go guards here and then log as well. If he zaps, um, we might need to go. Mm, I was thinking about not going for the knight. I'm going to drop it. I was debating it like if I needed to. He's just going to drop a P.E.K.K.A. So I'm not going to play anything else. He's most likely going to P.E.K.K.A. this. So they don't have good answers for barrel. Um, Ram Rider is usually annoying, but we can just drop a rocket on it. Like if they drop Ram Rider behind. That's the great thing about this deck is they if they just try to build up a massive push, it usually just feeds like the rocket value a lot of the time. We know they probably have Zap and, and Void and all of that, so we're just going to do this, see what spell they play, if anything. Okay, he just sacks, apparently. Um, Alright, we're going to do this. Evo Barrel, really, really good. I can't believe he just let that P.E.K.K.A. burn. We're going to go bang, bang. Real Barrel's actually on the right, or the left, sorry. Great damage on both sides, and he had to spend on both lanes, so life is good. Okay, if he plays something in front of the Wizard, we can get a really nice Rocket. Okay, actually, I'm just going to go Evo Knight. And I shouldn't have to spend. Okay, now I have to spend only because he used the void, but we're still chilling. I told you. The uh, the power of this deck, man. It's really, really good. We're going to go like this because he's going to spend on that side. I'll have a hard time defending this. Zap's not going to do a really good job. Nice. Evil Wizard going to get eaten up there a little bit. Now we have the option of going into either lane. And typically in these types of matchups, you want to go opposite lane. So let's go like this. Okay. Not my best log, to be honest. Okay, see, he thought I was going to barrel with the knight, so he goes, he uh, defended the wrong side, so that's really nice for us. Dark Goblin almost gets on the tower, but not going to. Okay, we need to be careful of a Ram Rider here, so let's go Inferno Tower. Okay, we're going to guards to protect it. Okay. Okay, well defended there. Things could have gone out of hands there, but fortunately they didn't. And now we have double barrel down. I'll be impressed if he can defend both sides. It'll be really difficult to do so. Yeah, he just ate the entire left side, and that's going to put it into rocker range nearly. So, honestly, GG's to that guy. The whole point of playing this deck was for this matchup, and you kind of showed how dominant it was there. So, GG's to Bunny. Uh, we'll hold that W. We'll see you in the next match. All right, into our next match here against Zarkot. And uh, some of you might have noticed... Or probably not but i am recording at night time i usually don't record videos in the at the night time i usually do it in the am but i'm going to be going on vacation here soon so i just want to make sure that i'm getting all as much content as possible for those of you that enjoy watching me you know all like thousand of you thank you for the support and <clears throat> i'm here recording a second video for y'all today so he's got the firecracker makes sense a lot of firecracker in this meta let's go like this we're gonna activate king tower and we should um full counter the hog just because inferno tower is so so strong yep Okay, beautiful. I have seen a little more hog. Uh, I've even seen hog Pekka. Um, so, wouldn't be surprised if that's what we're going up against. 
And I'm just going to take a breather here. Um, this should be a fine matchup for us. I feel like I wish I had the Tesla. But if he has, if he ends up having um, Pekka, then I'm fine with this card selection. Okay. He, he opts to just pull everything over. That's definitely the right play. Okay. This is going to be a really good log. And then we're going to go like this. Okay. Nice. We're going to have a nice counter push in exchange for one shot. Now he kind of needs to pick what side to log. Which is nice. So, that's kind of why it's nice to defend with troops. Okay. Nice. He can get a knight down here, I think. So, it's not the end of the world for him. Oh, actually, I don't think he can. So, he's going to eat those guards damage. So, really good sequence for us. Those guards actually do a lot of damage. Like, the shield on. Wow. That's why guards are so good, dude. Oh, my gosh. That did, like, a thousand damage. So, really good sequence of events for us. So, we're going to try not to butcher this lead here gonna cycle a log he has in an, his uh, evo firecracker coming up so we're gonna go like this and dark goblin we need it to help on the dps just because the knight's tanking beautiful we have our evo barrel coming up i'm considering going for the real barrel on the opposite side and then um, fake barrel on the other okay we're just gonna reset here Ooh, we, i might just rock at that i know it's on the side that i'm not going but it's just easier for me like i don't know <laughs> the PM's crazy. We're gonna block bridge here because he's probably gonna go in with like a hog. Yeah Yeah, pretty like obvious play. I don't know Pretty obvious. He might have a lightning though. No, he does not. Okay. Let's go ahead and log here Okay Need that to jump All right, I have an idea. Let's go like this and then like this log Nice, we got a lot of damage because he just ignored all of that just to go in. So we got great damage on both sides. Don't know why he's uh, salty at me for running this deck. It's not like I'm running Pekka or anything crazy like that. But the BM is crazy. Alright, so now we have to win. We have a we have a, a mission now. We can't lose this matchup. Alright, we're going to go like this. We're going to pull back. Is he not running a big spell? Like, I don't understand his deck, to be honest. Alright, reset, reset. Yep. Honestly, the only way we lose this match is if we give him, like, too much Firecracker value. So, we're going to avoid that at all costs. Let's go like this because he's going to drop the Knight. This will keep the Knight from um, sponging up all the damage. Easy defense there. It's really impressive to see the decks that people come up with. You know what I mean? Like, as the meta evolves, people need to do something different. Um, not saying that this guy came up with a good one, but it's good to see just, just differences. Things change. Okay, we're going to go like this. He might go for, like, a NATO. Yeah. No surprise there, honestly. Okay. Ice Spirit here, gonna do absolutely nothing. Yep, yep, yep. At least we have a surviving Inferno Tower here, gonna, like, absorb this shot for us. Okay, he's kind of catching up here. Uh, I feel like he's kind of, like, figured some things out. Let's just, like, set up for a defense here. Evo Barrel is gonna be, like, a very, very um, big change, though. It'll be hard for him to defend. Let's drop this rocket. Yeah, he has to pick a side to defend, basically. So it's really, really good for us in that regard. Okay. Here's where, like, I feel like the tide turns, honestly. I don't think he can defend both sides. So we're going to make sure we give him lots of BM. Because he was BMing us for, like, seriously no reason. So GG's there. Not the P.E.K.K.A. matchup you're looking for. But we're going to hold that W. See you in the next match. All right, in our next match here against Hyun something. He's running the cannon here. That is what we like to see. I would expect to see, like, a reasonable amount of Cannoneer this season. Um, like I said, just really good against the P.E.K.K.A. Alright. Easy defense there. Yeah, P.E.K.K.A. comes down. Um, no surprise. Honestly, everyone's just trying to cycle to the Eva P.E.K.K.A., so they'll just play cards like that right away just to cycle to it. Okay, P.E.K.K.A. arrows. Good to know. Let's do this. Might go for the Void on it. Uh, wouldn't be a horrible play. Yeah, he does. Okay. Ice Spirit to help preserve the HP of it, because then he'll have to spend a zap. He doesn't have arrows in cycles, so there's really no good way he breaks through this. Yeah, that E Spirit isn't even going to really do it. So now he's kind of in a compromised spot here. I'm going to be really aggressive. He doesn't have arrows. Uh, he spent a lot on that push, so this is, like, one of the best ways that you can punish a, a, a play like that. Like, look at how much damage we're going to get right here. Really, really uh, just well played by us. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, we're going to go Guards here, and then we're also going to go Ice Spirit... Okay, oops. I was trying to keep my guards healthy, but it's not the end of the world, so... Really, really good punish against the Cannoneer, against the P.E.K.K.A. player who, who overextended. He needs to play something on this. Yeah, he drops his P.E.K.K.A. Okay. So he has arrows uh, and void in hand, so like we just need to be careful here. 
we're gonna Inferno Tower like this, and then like Dark Goblin over here. We expect the Void is gonna be coming, but um, he needs to play it soon, or at least the Zap or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, arrows come down a, a bit too late, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. Okay, let's go like this. Dark Goblin's gonna tank. Go off to go for a lot of troops here. Yeah, Ice Spirit as well. Gonna force out the East Spirit, and we're already damn near inside of Rocket Range, so as long as we don't choke a defense or do anything drastic, we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. I'm gonna go Knight here to maybe try and force out the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, I don't want to support this any further, though. Because um, if you overextend against P.E.K.K.A., there's a good chance that you're gonna lose. I expect him to drop the P.E.K.K.A. Yep. So as long as we, you know, we're very cool and calculated on this defense, we should be okay. I might even Void Block when he goes uh, for the Void. Let's do this. Because remember, this isn't even the Evo P.E.K.K.A., it's just the normal P.E.K.K.A., so we can just go like this here. Okay, he did go for Arrows. We're gonna go Knight High. Beautiful. I'm gonna go like this. Okay. Evo Barrel actually gonna do a really good job. <laughs> Evo Barrel, not the purpose that uh, we wanted to use it. Let's do this because uh, it'll finish off the tower and it'll. Oops, okay, okay. Definitely a flub there. Okay, um. <laughs> That was a bad rocket. It almost ended up costing us the game, but it didn't. I mean, we're, we made this deck to kind of counter Pekka, so no surprise that we're able to clutch up. GG's to this guy. We're going to hold that W. See you in the next one. All right, into our last match of the video against Poyo here. Maybe we can get another game against Pekka. We'll see, but we've already played, I think, two games against Pekka, so we're not going to worry about it. He cycles his zap. Zap could mean a lot of things, but it usually means Pekka, so just going to take a deep breath. Okay, goes for Miner. Don't see a lot of Miner in this meta, so kind of nice to see something refreshing, but he's already down five Elixir. Like, everything that we have on the board is, like, free in terms of what it's cost us. Let's see if he has a log as well. He doesn't. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, kind of looks like he's playing, like, giant double prints or something like that. Okay, we're going to go Knight here. Help us cycle to our Evo and sponge up the damage from the E-Wiz. So he has Miner. I think I saw Raddy playing this, like, giant double prince. Or maybe it's not double prince, but I think it's a giant deck, so we're going to keep that in mind. Okay. Let's just cycle the log here. We're going to try and get to our Evo uh, barrel as well. I think he's running the... We saw arrows, so I'll probably just arrows this. Oh, he goes for the zap instead. Interesting. Okay. Dark Goblin at the bridge just to force out probably his goblins, I would imagine, or Mega Minion. Oh, we actually get the E-Wiz out of hand. That's really good for me. I'm fine with that. Ends up being an even trade. All right, we're going to go for our guards at the bridge. We have our Evo Knight in hand for whatever he chooses to drop. Maybe goblins here come down. Okay. Still trying to figure out exactly what his deck is, but I think he's running Giant. I think I've seen this before. I think it's a Giant deck. So he drops his Mega Minion, perhaps building up a push here. Uh, Rocket's going to be our best friend if they just, like, spam us in a single lane here i wonder if we can hit everything with this rocket let's try oh my gosh <laughs> did you think we can hit everything with that we definitely did let's support this with the dark goblin and he's cooked right like on, on one at one side or the other he's, he's got to be cooked surely okay get the log off let, oh not quick enough to keep everything alive but we just took half of his tower with that one push yeah, arrows just came down. Let's spam him here because he played those arrows at zero elixir, so anything he can get down is not going to be enough to stop the barrel. Yeah, nice. Very, very good. We're inside of double rocket range, so we're just going to relax. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm not going to play anything else. Ooh, Pekka comes down. It's Inferno Tower now. Let's do this in case he goes for uh, goblin goblins. Kind of had the right idea, but messed it up, so. Okay, now we need to be careful of the bear, the balloon here. I think just to play it safe, I'm probably just going to rock it wherever the balloon ends up coming. Yeah, just to keep it safe. But uh, this is a really bad matchup for him. Like, I genuinely feel like this is, like, maybe a 100-0 matchup. So, it's even better than P.E.K.K.A. low-key. Okay. Okay, we're going to drop the knight in the back here. If I was crazy, I could go for a double rocket cycle, but... I think I'm just going to play it safe. Cycle the log here. Okay. I'm going to do this. Try and catch the miner. Yeah, they go for the prediction. It makes sense. 
I see what he's trying to do. I mean, the matchup is, is really tough. Like, it's very hard for him to break through. So I respect what he's doing. It's just it's just hard, man. It is. He doesn't have anything for that. He arrows the wrong side. Okay, GG's to this guy. Um, wasn't quite the matchup that he was looking for, but it ended up being really good for us. So we're going to hold that W, and we'll see you in the next match. I mean, the outro. <laughs> see you there. And that is gonna do it for today's video. Here is the deck one more time in case you wanna take a screenshot and try it out. Like I said, this is kind of anti-meta, the best version of log bait control that you can try. So if you're frustrated, you're tired of playing against P.E.K.K.A., give this deck a try. Plus it's just something fresh and unique from all of the decks that you're gonna be seeing from the other content creators and things like that. So if you've made it this far, thank you again. Just know how much I appreciate you. And I hope to see you in another video real soon. Peace.